I am Michael Leon Davenport. I'm a native from Athens, Georgia. I'm an artist here in town, and I've been drawing ever since I was uh, 15 years old. I started drawing two years after I lost my hands. I was 13 at the time, um, down in Winterville. That's when the incident happened. I seen this rope land in the yard, and I uh, said that would be a cool idea for me to uh, throw a rope over the tree branch and lasso it so I can go swimming that day. It was hot that summer. Uh, I missed the tree branch and lassoed the main three power line. The rope that I had had copper in it. When I um, came to, I didn't know my hand was gone. I was in the hospital almost a year. When I tried to lift my uh, hands up to reach for the cup, that's when it hit me, you know, uh, it hit me like a turn of brick. It was a hard pill to swallow at that time. Um, I was deeply depressed. I gave up. I didn't want to eat. I didn't want to see nobody. I, I just gave up, you know. At that time, I did not draw. Uh, when I had hands, I did not draw. I used a trace, but I never did. Could draw a stick figure. For me, 15 to own up where I'm at now is just, you know, self-taught. God taught me all of that. I was uh, sketching from a newspaper, a bulldog head. And Vince Dooley seen that, and he was like, son, don't you ever stop doing that? And he reached in his pocket and gave me $20 for that notebook pack. He said, son, he said, what you're doing is just incredible. He said, don't you never stop doing that. He said, it'll take you places, you know? It'll take you a lot of places, but don't you dare stop doing that. We've actually got a couple of paintings of Michaels, and uh, he's just part of the Athens scene, and you know, you really can't, you can't deny the uh, authenticity of his work. He does a great job. I used to come down here all the time as a kid and when I was 18, 21, and he's always been here. And this is one of the numerous paintings he's done for us. Just the atmosphere of Athens itself and then seeing people like this in the middle of their street doing art and starting their dreams, it kind of picks your spirits back up. I'm not artistic at all, uh, so seeing someone doing it without even using their hands is really impressive. My wife and I own a prosthetics company. He's definitely gifted with talent. And, and I've been in this business for 30 years. I think that he's just an inspiration, you know, to other, other individuals who have suffered limb loss. I've seen this guy every game day, and he is a legend of Athens, Georgia. So you come back, you know him. You know, I tell a lot of kids, and I tell a lot of people, you know, I say, well, it, it does, you know come from inside, you know, where God give each one of us talent. And when God use you, he use you, you know, to touch other people's life. Life is what you make out of it. It's up to an individual to get up that morning, to get out there and show people that, you know, regardless having hands or being without hands, you still you, you know, you still have that spirit in you, you know, to be whatever you want to be in life, you know. So I tell a lot of kids, don't ever start doubting yourself. Find out who you are and, and pursue it. Whatever you love to do, do it, you know? And don't never say, well, I can't. I can't do this and I can't do that. The reason I do Buddha is not because of the money. It's because, you know, the joy of other people saying, you know? When God uses you, you know, people come back and tell you, hey, man, you know, I was feeling bad that day until I seen you out there doing that, man. It just blew my mind. It made it uplift me. And I'm like, it did? And yeah, yeah, you you out here doing something that most people is not doing. Same thing that Vince Dooley told me on day one when I first did it, you know? So I see that a lot in a lot of my customers, a lot of my fans, a lot of people, you know, out there that looking and 
why and how do this guy do that, you know? I, I thank God because he changed my whole life, you know? I thank God that he changed my life for a reason, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. It's gonna be a big saying there. <laughs> Y'all are so welcome, Thank man. Y'all so have much. a blessed weekend. Oh, I will. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, you ready for the story? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Incredible. A lot of stories. Incredible. Well, true. Lord, no. God, <laughs> that took me back down the memory lane. <laughs> yeah, <I mean> <laughs>